Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. We've got a lot to cover today, including a new promo code you can put in to get some free resources on Raid Shadow Legends. We've also got the 10x. We finally know exactly what champions are going to be in there. There's some spicy ones like Rodos. So I will give you full context on all of these champions and then let you know who it makes sense for to pull during this 10x and who it doesn't. We'll show you the promo code and get you all caught up here for the end of the week. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, for the promo code, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the left three bar menu, click on promo codes, and then simply put in gift one and then confirm and boom. There it is, some free resource for it, uh, resources for you to get your end of the week kicked off here. And then for the 10x, that will be starting tomorrow for the weekend. Remember, it's not live right now. When you click on the eye under the summoning portal, it will show the 10x champions down here in that empty space. But the 10x champions are going to be Inithwe, Blood Twin, Rodos, the Lost Groom, Zavia, Blood Gorged, Luria, Excruciator, Phoenix, and Occult Brawler. So now let's go over these champions really quickly, one by one, and I'll give you my quick thoughts on them. So first up is going to be the Void Legendary in this event, Inithwe, and definitely the main thing with him is the passive here. It's the most consistent block revive in the game. It's just a straight up enemies killed by the champion cannot be revived no cooldown nothing like that he's also got aoe leech and he can do decent damage if built properly to do so he's not going to nuke like ethos or anything but he can definitely hit decently hard and have a very consistent block revive next up we have got rotos of the lost groom now this guy was nerfed about oh eight months ago or so and uh he's still pretty decent even after that he's a very good kind of solo dps carry in a defensive tag team arena type setup uh you get him paired with siffy if you have if you're lucky enough to have her and they can be an insane tandem in the arena so rotos is definitely a very good legendary to have on your account especially as an arena damage dealer Zavio was kind of the speed running queen, uh, the, the, the Dragon 20, Fire Knight 20 speed running queen because of her deadly catalyst ability. Place a bunch of poisons, blow them up with Zavia. That was nerfed uh, and changed how it functions in the game. Now that they released Dungeons 21 through 25, they, they changed how devastating and how much damage that can crank out. So that was kind of a pseudo nerf to Zavia, who didn't age very well because of the new dungeon levels. Uh, but if you're still farming level 20 or some of those earlier stages, Zavia is, is, is very amazing for speedrunning a bunch of those dungeons. Blood Gorge is kind of like a budget force affinity Rodos kind of pseudo champion like that. Uh, not really, but kind of because he's got this ability here where he's going to ignore defense and priority target snipe and they will be killed uh, and not be able to be revived. So it's going to hit super hard and they are not going to be able to be revived if he kills them with that ability. And then he's also got an AoE uh, put one of their uh, one of their skills on cooldown with defense break on the A1 to go along with that as well. So Blood Gorge definitely has some utility in certain spots in the game kind of similar to like a budget version of rotos and now as we get into the epics we've got luria who actually has a really underrated a2 here for an epic champion it's going to be an aoe with a pretty decent chance to freeze once you get it booked up and any enemy killed by that is is not going to be able to be revived so we're either going to kill them and they can't be revived or if we don't kill them we've got a pretty solid chance of placing a freeze so definitely a pretty solid nuking ability for an epic excruciator is a champion that was released kind of with veil and perfect veil being added to the game so uh is really designed to kind of synergize with that and has the ability to block revive which is kind of the theme of this 10x but uh just too hard to get consistent value out of excruciator so i typically don't recommend investing in her or really pulling shards to go for her Next up, we've got Phoenix, who is actually a really underrated epic in the game for sure. He can actually hit really hard. He's got a consistent A1 to do damage and get an extra hit in and block revive. Can be good for the ice golem and things like that. He's got an AoE that can place block buffs and then also block active skills if that doesn't proc. And then he's also got this ability right here that's going to place decreased defense and decreased speed. Can be really good for boss fight scenarios for sure. Faction wars, ice golem, stuff like that. So Phoenix is definitely maybe not like god tier, but he is underrated. Then the last champion in this 10x is going to be Occult Brawler. And uh, yes, he does technically have block revive here on the A2, uh, but you don't really get a whole lot of value out of that part of his kit. 
I would say 90 something percent of his usage comes as a clan boss DPS poisoner or maybe in like the dragon or something uh, or doing some sort of run like that where he is a poisoner and, and stacking those poisons to do a bunch of damage over time so you're not gonna really be using this guy in the arena for the block revive or anything like that but uh, that he definitely has a role in the game of being a really good boss poison DPSer. So that is the 10x with the Void Lego being in Neathway. And then we've got Rodos, Azavia, Bloodgorged, Luria, Excruciator, Phoenix, and Occult Brawler. Um, it's it's an average 10x. You've got good champions like Rodos and uh and Zavia can be fun to have. Not nowadays, not really a count changing because by the time you get to the point where you're building for speed farming. You're going to be wanting to do like stage 24 or something like that. So Zavia now wouldn't really be uh, the best option there because of how she was nerfed in those later stages. So Zavia is nowhere near the pole that she used to be. Uh, Rodos is still very good though and very fun to have. Uh, if, if you're close to your mercy on like uh, Ancients or something and you don't have Rodos, uh, especially if you have Siffy, then I would then I would go for it. Uh, then it would definitely make sense to go for Rodos probably if you don't have him and you do have Siffy for sure. But for most of you out there, 90% of you, I'm going to say, uh, given this 10x, it is still most optimal to wait and pull your shards for a 2x event. And now as we transition uh, to going over what is going on in game, I'm dreading this because I've got to try to get top two in this Fire Knight tournament and it is going to cost <laughs> I mean, this Fire Knight tournament is going to be crazy. So for most of you, I hope you're in a situation where you can just get the 1800 fragments and call it good uh, for Demetha here on the right side. If you've got to finish in the top two in this one, buckle up, saddle up, and get ready because it is going to be thousands. And I I'm anticipating I'm going to have to get like... 25,000 points to finish in the top like it's gonna be it's gonna be absolutely crazy uh this fire night tournament going for uh these these bonus fragments for demetha and to get in that top two so saddle up and get ready if you are going hard in that fire night tournament uh as i unfortunately have to and then we've also got the tag team arena tournament starting tomorrow and then as we dive into the events tab there will be something coinciding with the 10x yep there it is there is the summon rush that will be a pseudo countdown to when you can expect the 10x to launch uh there in in, in this, this this clock that you see under your summon rush in game and you've also got dungeon divers and artifact enhancement on dungeon divers you want to make sure and get to 2500 for the core hammers and then keep going past that to 30 50 for the fragments you will need i actually don't need those fragments i was lucky enough to summon this champion uh during the the ancient event so for me i would only have to get to 1550 but you're going to want to keep an eye on that and probably get up to that 3000 and then under the artifact enhancement event uh you want to get splinter here at 2625 is the only fragment but i would definitely get to 4000 if you can get that far get to 4000 and scoop up your 10 core hammers 10 core hammers for 1400 points on artifact enhancement is definitely worth it so for sure do that now let's see if there's any offers worth kind of uh going over today we've got the special progress pack with 2.5 mil okay and then we're gonna have energy of 4,000 with the gems of 2k and energy refills of 30 a 1.75 so for a high spender who is going to be really going crazy in the fire night not the worst thing you can buy but uh but it's not an offer i would i would typically recommend dungeon pack okay this one is a purchase limit of two so it's probably decent um and then no let's not do that let's go here and clear uh silver of five mil no that's energy uh so let's go two thousand there silver of five mil and gems of a thousand this is a really kind of just broad general offer uh and then we're gonna have five days of xp 20 energy refills and 14 legendary tomes 1.99 again uh good for a high spender who um maybe uh like like i see when I, when I do takeovers and stuff i'll see people where their champions have outpaced the progress of their account um you know they'll have really good champions rotos torment warlords stuff like that and i'll be and i'll be like you know hey your, your struggle is getting things developed booked and geared for people like that that are higher spenders and, and the champions have outpaced their their account development an offer like this would make sense but for 90 percent of you uh this would not be recommend from me uh this is not a good uh special silver this is not a good pack string in my opinion right now you're gonna want um energy i think monthly pack is about a 2.5 we know that one and then 15 dollars for the speed set so the best offer they've ever done for speed gear they had one where it was uh the same price 15 dollars for six star epic 
Now that is one I would lean toward, towards like, hey, if you're ever going to buy a gear offer, it's this one. I'd like this should be $10 in my opinion, not 15. So uh, for rare gear, uh, not worth spending money on this in my opinion. Also on the way out, worth noting, um, if you're ever going to do a free to play account or get a friend playing the game or something, now is kind of the last day you can create a new account and still have time to uh, finish your daily login stuff and, and get the, the ninja promo that Plarium did. They're going to be ending that soon. It's going to go back to getting shaman instead of ninja. So I may uh, I may have to fire up a free to play account and, and play on it for a bit today and at least get one started and start going down that route because I don't want to miss out on the ninja promo. And then we're also seeing crazy uh, like I saw somebody tweeted at uh, tweeted at Hell Hades with an image like a guaranteed apothecary or something uh, after you pull seven ancient shards. Uh, so uh, if you can start a new account and get apothecary and ninja like a weekend. That would obviously be an insane start uh, and way better off than, than I was back when I started playing raids. So uh, I may have to look into firing up a free-to-play account just to make sure I have one ready to go uh, with that opportunity. Uh, so uh, it's something to keep in mind for sure uh, if you're either looking to have a second account yourself or get a friend into the game. So alrighty, I'm going to head on over to the live stream for a few hours and hang out with you guys. Uh, if you'd like to come say hi, that link will be down below in the pinned comment. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week here. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace.